The origin story of our final guest hints at, a th at thrilling adventures yet to unfold. A childhood in Hilo, Hawaii, spent in exploration of both the physical world around her and of other worlds revealed in books. The encouragement of her high school chemistry teacher, Ms. Wong, that a career in science was indeed a viable pursuit. The realization of a deep interest, an aptitude, and a calling. Her path to the Lee Ka Sing Chancellor's Chair in Biomedical Sciences at the University of California, Berkeley, and leadership of the Innovative Genomics Institute was propelled by discovery upon discovery. As an undergraduate at Pomona, she discovered new cultures and perspectives and the value of being open to both. As a graduate student at Harvard Medical School, working in the lab of Nobel Prize winning biologist Jack Shostak, she discovered a talent for picking the right problems and going after the right questions. She has authored literally hundreds of papers and articles on the chemical repertoire of natural ribozymes, crystallization of RNA and RNA protein complexes, amino acylation of an RNA helix, and the illumination of key molecular pathways in neuropsychiatric disorders. Today, is she, she is best known for the leap of imagination that led to the discovery with Emmanuel Charpentier that CRISPR-Cas9, an enzyme found in bacteria, could be repurposed to search out and edit specific genes. The New York Times called this deceptively simple technique, quote, the most significant biological discovery since the double helix, end quote. By targeting specific fragments of DNA with absolute precision, CRISPR, short for clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats, has placed power of previously unimaginable scope in human hands. With implications that our guest has called seismic, CRISPR has given us the potential to produce higher yielding and more pest resistant foods, to edit animal genes so that their organs might be transplanted into humans, to cultivate mosquitoes incapable of transmitting malaria, to diagnose, treat, and even prevent disease. Scarcely a day passes without news coverage of its revolutionary potential, and not a single day passes without our guests thinking deeply about the nature of her work and its possible consequences, and urging us to do the same. Quote, few technologies are inherently good or bad. What matters is how we use them, end quote, she writes in her book, A Crack in Creation. What will we, a fractious species whose members can't agree on much, choose to do with this awesome power? This question may be at our guest's most important may be our guest's most important contribution to human knowledge. She invites us all to consider how we will answer this question for the greater good of this world we inhabit together. I present Jennifer A. Doudna for the degree Doctor of Science. Superheroes know with great power comes great responsibility. Science in service to our common humanity. Brilliance and conscience in equal measure. Fighting ever and always for both, your greatest contribution. Therefore, by the authority vested in me, I confer upon you the degree Doctor of Science with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto appertaining. <laughs> 